up guys welcome back to my channel my name is Lavinia Lizette and in today's video I'm gonna take you guys on a vlog with me I'm going to Atlanta leaving London well I'm actually in Birmingham right now at National Express I'll be heading to London Heathrow Airport and then we'll be flying out heading to Atlanta Georgia I really was not intending on traveling during this pandemic but have to have my green card updated if not it will just cause me all kind of problems so I'm traveling to Atlanta today right now I am in Digbeth at the National Express coach station so I'll be catching a coach which is a three-hour ride to London and then a nine and a half hour flight to ATL so I'm gonna bring you guys along with me on this journey so stay tuned guys up and now I'm gonna go find Daniel he is around here somewhere we had to take different coaches because I wasn't intending on traveling and last minute I booked and uh, the coach was sold out so I couldn't get on his coach so I had to get on a separate coach and I'm here now and it's just so weird out here with all this social distancing stuff everything just looks really weird but I'm gonna bring you guys along with us flight is not until much much later but we've got to get get checked in and so forth so some food because I'm starving. We've been here. This is my outfit. Just some comfy shoes, some jeans, tank top, and a little denim shirt. Just something comfy to travel in. And yes, I am still losing weight. The pants are really, really loose on me. If you guys can see that. Look at this. So yeah, I'm still losing weight. Thank God. Guys, we're getting ready to board the plane right now. We have officially been in the airport for hours since 3.15. No, I'm sorry, 6 a.m. But we've been traveling since 2 a.m. Finally boarding the plane. So now we have a nine hour flight. Our plan is to have a couple glasses of wine and eat these great meals and watch a movie. We're finally on the plane, and I have the window seat. He tried to fight me for it, but I booked it first. <laughs> Finally here in Atlanta, catching a cab. 
to my sister's house. It is hot as crap. As soon as we walked out of the plane, the humidity hit me. It is hot. Guys, I've just gotten to my sister's house and I'm so tired. This flight, this flight was very long. And as soon as I got off the plane, I felt the humidity here. And this is one thing I do not miss is this friggin' heat. It's ridiculous. Even though I have been missing the sun in England, but he, here, this, this shit is just ridiculous. We didn't want to travel during this pandemic, but um, I'm a permanent resident of the United States. I have a green card. And with me being out of the United States, I have to I have to basically visit, I have to be in America at least once a year in order to keep my green card or my permanent residency card active. And because of the pandemic, I didn't want to travel because my plan was to come here in May. But because of the pandemic, I just, I wasn't going to come. And I still wasn't going to come. But last week I called the, the U.S. Embassy to find out what I could do. And basically I had no choice but to come so just decided to go ahead and come get it over and done with it and while I was living here I was considering getting my citizenship but I really didn't want to become a US citizen and now that I'm not in the country it, I feel like it's to my benefit to be a citizen so that way I don't have to deal with any issues coming in and out of the country especially with me having a business I have to make sure that all of my documents are up to date and that's the main reason why I had to be here now this is not not gonna be like a, a vacation I'm not gonna really be able to hang out go see my friends I don't really want to be around people too much so I'm probably just gonna be with my family and then I'll be going down to Albany to go check in with my store it was just just a last minute trip I, I decided to come three days ago and the thing that really pissed me off is because of this pandemic the prices for the flights are freaking ridiculous this flight cost me 1621 the most I've ever spent was 1100 coming to England and the cheapest was 900 so I was pissed and of course if I can get on buddy pass that's like 700 so that really pissed me off, but I, I had to do it. So I just had to kind of suck it up and roll with the punches. But we had a safe flight. It was long as shit, but we, um, the food was great. The food was really nice. I had a couple glasses of wine and I slept quite a bit. So tonight I'm probably just gonna chill out and socialize with my family. And that's gonna be it. So I just wanna bring you guys along with me. You guys know I do, do these vlogs every year when I come over here. So I figured, you know what, why not? But anyway, I will check in with you guys later on. Toodaloo. Saturday and I'm heading to Albany, Georgia. We're heading down to the store. A few days ago, one of my employees was tested for the virus, for the COVID virus, and we found out that she tested positive. What? So we have to go down and deep clean the store. The store has been closed um, since Friday. It's going to be closed over the weekend so we can deep clean the store. So we're heading down there now just to go check in, clean up, and organize the store. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. I told you guys we had to close the store. And we are still practicing social distancing within here. Let's see if I can find the right key. So I'm a little weary about being in here because like I said, the young lady has contracted the virus. So I literally came in here just to pick up a package and then we're gonna go pick up, um, we're gonna go uh, 
get some cleaning supplies to get this place in order. Morning guys, so I'm doing my workout. I think it's about 8.30 in the morning. This is the hotel gym, which I think is pretty cool. It's got weights, all kinds of little things. So I'm gonna make good use of this these next couple days of me being here. I am still dropping, but since being here, I have cheated quite a bit. So let's just get this workout started. So basically, we came into the store, the air conditioning went out. Let me show you guys. This is what it currently is inside the store. So I had to go out and buy a uh, air conditioning unit. I bought fans, more fans. And because it was the weekend, there was nothing much I could do. I did have somebody come out yesterday to come look at the unit and has told me that the unit is basically trash and it needs to be replaced. I was quoted between six and eight grand. So um, I bought the, the portable AC unit and I spoke with the landlord. They're sending somebody out here today to come look at it and potentially get it fixed. So I wasn't able to vlog. I have been burning up in here. Me being in England, it has, I'm just not used to the, the Georgia heat anymore, you know. But today I'm having a company meeting. As I mentioned, one of my employees contracted the virus and so I've had to come in, deep clean the store. Um, so she won't be in the meeting today, but um, she will be on video. So you guys can see I'm sweating, I'm sweating now. So I just wanted to give you guys an update. Let me get back in, that, in the pool. <laughs> I just wanted to give you guys an update of what's going on. Um, I'm completely stressed. I, I just, I don't know. I just don't know. This is one of the best features of our wigs is the hairlines. The knots are pre-bleached. But I do have a busy, another busy day ahead of myself. So. Tomorrow the store will be open. Hopefully the air conditioning will be fixed or I won't be able to open. But it is extremely too hot. This is my outfit. If I could have came in butt naked today, I would have because it is too hot. And because of the pandemic, we've put certain sections to separate our customers, certain areas where customers are not allowed to cross. They're not able to cross that line there. And since I was here, I went ahead and got rid of our old register system, which is Square. I've been using Square since we opened, so for the past four years. And I decided to try Shopify. That's who I, my website host is with, so they have a uh, cardless um, transaction, card transaction machine, and their little stand, which I think is pretty, it's pretty nice. 
so and I have just been organizing cleaning bringing in new inventory I know it looks really bare in here but all the things that I brought have not been priced so I have like really been in my feelings over the last couple days because I for me maybe you feel like this too but for me I seem to always have like the worst look excuse my glasses I am a nerd guys but my eye was swollen when I got here I just like I said this whole trip has just been just been difficult but yesterday I just wanted to cry because you know one thing about being a business owner you know people on the outside they see you know all your ups they see your business growing and stuff like that but they don't see the struggles that people go through I am a business owner this business is just me I don't have a business partner so I have to deal with uh, the good and the bad and this is a part of the bad that I have to deal with on top of that I didn't even want to come over to I didn't want to travel to America right now because of the pandemic I had to come on top of that the prices of flights were so much and then to come and deal with my air conditioning going out I had to spend $500 on this small unit which is not gonna you know cool the whole store and once the landlord comes um, I believe I'm I have a deductible to pay which I think is a thousand or twelve hundred and then after that then the the, um, the landlord will take care of everything but at this point I'm starting to think about relocating because every year I'm getting work on my plumbing every year I'm getting work on the air conditioning unit and I do not own this building I am renting this building what the hell was that but yeah I've, been, I've just been thinking maybe it's time for me to move because what's the odds of me coming here and my first day in the store the air goes out to me that's that's a sign and my lease I have to deal with a lot of the building rep the repairs this is a very old building and the repairs are becoming too much and I feel like I shouldn't have to pay as much as I'm paying because I don't own this building you know if I was to replace the the plumbing or the air conditioning I'm not taking this stuff with me so I just have a lot to think about and it's it's really rough being a business owner especially when it's just you you know when things like this happen they're out of your control I had to close the store for three days last week one because uh, my one of my employees contracted uh, the COVID virus so I had to close she couldn't be around people I had to come in and clean the store and then the air conditioning goes out so for those that, of you guys that think being a business owner is super easy it is hard it's hard uh, it's hard it is not easy it's not a walk in the park especially when you have an actual brick and mortar store the overheads the problems the employees just all kinds of stuff you know but I'm not complaining this is my journey you know I've been through a lot of ups and downs but I had to come out here and vent I'm sweating you know I just wanted to come vent basically so uh, I'm preparing for my meeting. It should start in the next few minutes, actually. So I'll tune in with you guys a little bit later so I can go ahead and talk with my staff. Bye, guys. Pray for me. Pray the air conditioning gets fixed today. Please pray for me. I cannot deal. <laughs> Please. I can't even glue my wig down because my got to be glued just lifts because I keep sweating. So I'm all in here with my tab showing, guys. Pray for me. Your girl needs it. All right, I'll turn it with you guys later.